Venice Arts was conceived in 1991 as an idea to link low-income kids with artists in our community. We had 10 kids in our very first photo program called Venice Through Our Eyes. I always felt like our idea, that the idea could work. What would reaffirm this for me was seeing how individual kids were transformed. I feel like that their world has expanded, that their sense of what's possible for them has expanded. Engaging with your own creative process is probably the, the most important and potentially transformative thing that a human being can do. But what is Venice Arts? It's incredibly dedicated people who are really trying to connect with kids in a meaningful way to educate them and to mentor them and to expand their sense of what's possible. What I'm most proud of is the most difficult thing to um, quantify and it can only be told through individual stories, and that's the impact on individual kids' lives. Can I take pictures? Do you mind? My favorite thing about taking pictures is that I get to show others my perspective on life, and I just want to show people a story about how life is in Venice. I love taking pictures, so I'm in the darkroom a lot to develop photos. It's like a long process, but it's worth it. Venice Arts provides all the materials, which is great because some of the stuff people won't be able to afford. I think we have enough for everybody today. I'm a single mom. I have Donna, who right now is 22, and I have Delisa, who's 16. I would not have been able to afford uh, putting them in any other kind of art classes. thought that America had no poverty, any poverty, that it was just like a wonderful place. But then when they looked at some of the books, they were like, this is America. I didn't expect it to be like that. The photographs would be compelling no matter who took them. The faces of South Africa, dancers in full tribal regalia. They capture what the best pictures often do, the tension between beauty and sorrow. It is hard to imagine that these photographs in this exhibit at the Los Angeles City Hall were taken by kids, 8, 11, 13. These young photojournalists were among the 7,000 delegates who attended the Third World Conference Against Racism that was held in Durban, South Africa late last summer. for the opportunities that you gave my daughters. Because without them, they would never have been able to experience all that they have experienced.